and welcome back. Well, guess what? It was another record tying day today here in Meridian. 90 degrees is what we topped out at. That tied our record, of course, set back in 1954. 68 was our low this morning. Fisher when the almanac came out, only about a trace of precipitation, of course. We've had showers roll through since then. And so we're back up to near average for this time of year. You can see those showers on our visible satellite just start to bubble up over the central and eastern corners of the state. Again, this is also see with that cold front up to our northwest that is moving on through. Yeah, it's going to bring some uh, cooler temperatures. Here is our radar the past uh, hour or so. So again, we've had some heavy showers and thunderstorms, especially moving over to near Demopolis and York. And behind this, we'll keep a slight chance of some rain on going throughout your night tonight, although we're not expecting too much in the way of accumulations. But some cooler temperatures. Temperatures in the mid to lower 50s with those winds out of the north now, 5 to 10 miles per hour, upwards of 15 at times. So we'll put one of our models into motion. See, we do start to clear on out, but keep a slight chance again of some of those scattered rain chances into the early morning hours. And there is the cold front just up to our northwest. Again, these showers are ahead of this cold front behind it. We have some drier air. This will move on through overnight tonight and get ready for a little bit of a chilly day tomorrow. Temperature is only going to get up into the mid to upper 60s. Those winds will still be out of the north. Cooler, we'll have some sunshine, mainly clouds, until we can finally get that dry air to filter on in. It'll take a little while, so expect to start to clear out eh, probably by the afternoon time frame. So if you have any early morning plans, it's going to be a little overcast out sky, outside and a little chilly as well. There is the dry air just now going into central Arkansas. There are several things ongoing on this image. One, we have another named storm. It's a subtropical storm, Melissa, about in the Atlantic. Not going to impact us. We're not worried too much about it. The low pressure we've been talking about is well on up to our north into Canada by this point. So that front is still sagging on through. And again, that's going to bring us some cooler temperatures, but it's also going to set the stage for some rain as we go on into next week. So we're going to have a warm front start to develop down to our south, and that's going to move to the north. That combined with, and I'm actually going to back up a little bit, with a little bit of a moisture plume that's going to be coming actually off the Pacific, the north uh, eastern Pacific, will move over our area. And so going into next week, we're looking at some rain and a good amount of rain, especially as we go into Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday. Uh, after everything is said and done, we could pick up several inches of rain, which is good because again, we need to knock that fire danger down. And this is certainly going to help us out with that. Now, of course, these totals will kind of wobble a little bit once we can kind of get a better sample of the air mass. Again, it's well off the coast right now, so we don't have any weather balloons uh, to, to sample this from the surface. But right now, all indications are a couple inches of rain likely to fall over the next several days. And temperatures staying relatively cool over your weekend. And now you can see that warm front is going to warm up temperatures back into the upper 70s by Monday and Tuesday. Going into Wednesday, we'll have another little front move on through Wednesday night into Thursday. So it's going to drop our overnight lows from the 60s down to the lower 50s before we'll start to warm back up into the 80s by Friday of next week.